What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial and today you are going to learn how to create game objects and add components using scripts. Now the usual method to, to do this would be uh, you know click on game object and uh, in, in the menu click on the game object menu and create other and then you select what type of object you want. By the way we'll be creating like one of these not all of them because uh, most of these are just empty game objects with components attached for example a point light would be uh, here you can see it it's an it's an empty game object with a light component attached to it if you add another camera that will be an empty game object with a camera component and a few other components attached to it so yeah uh, basically we'll be creating one of these okay uh, I will be using C sharp as always but the the same thing can be done using JavaScript and Boo as well okay I'm not sure about Boo but it can be done using JavaScript as well um, I will show you how to create a few types of objects and add a few types of components uh, because it's it's a long list of objects and a long list of components. I can't show you all of them in this tutorial. The tutorial will become very long. Uh, but yeah, this tutorial should give you uh, enough information to be able to try out a few things uh, by yourself. So let's begin. Okay, I have added a plane and there's the default main camera that comes when you add a new scene and uh, now we are going to add some objects uh, don't pay attention to this script that you see here this is just for reference in case if I forget something we are going to create another script uh, so we start by clicking on our main camera and adding a new script to it we will call it uh, object creator you can name it whatever you want it's just a name we're going to open this up in mono develop and yeah okay now uh, the simplest way to test whether your object creation script is working is to assign some sort of button to it so I'm going to assign our mouse button uh, input dot get mouse button down zero uh, zero means uh, the left mouse button now I'm using a regular mouse over here uh, it's got two buttons and a mouse wheel and the mouse wheel also functions as a button so I think uh, that would be one or two probably probably two uh, but then on gaming uh, on, on a gaming mouse uh, you know a mouse that has more than three buttons I don't know what the numbering system will be so just experiment it's okay if, if you're confused about this you can use uh, get key down and assign any key that you want alright so we'll start by creating a game object call this cube you can call the object whatever you want it's just a name and yeah Further on, we are going to write uh, game object dot create primitive. Uh, within the brackets, we'll write primitive type dot cube. So what this will do is create. Uh, it will create a cube. All right. Now let's set the position for our cube. I'm not sure if you don't set the position what's gonna you know what let's see what happens if you don't set the position where where does the cube go okay its uh, default value would be 0 on X 1 on Y and minus 10 on Z okay now let's set the value that we want uh, 
cube.transform.position equals new vector 3 just a minute forgot the value 0f 2f minus 7f okay what's next yeah next we will add a component this will be a light component and this component will be added to our uh, uh, cube and we also need to set what type of light it is uh, as you can see there are four types over here I'm going to use point now let's see what happens when we create our cube as you can see uh, the cube is created on uh, it's, it's created on on in I'm not sure what term to use uh, yeah it's it's created on these coordinates and uh, the cube has a light component attached to it okay next next we are going to create uh, let's create a sphere and attach a camera to it by the way you can attach any number of components that you want using this script it's not like you have to you can attach only one it's you don't it's not like you have a choice between uh, light or camera or material or whatever you can attach as many as you want okay input dot get mouse button down one all right we are going to create a sphere and attach a camera to it now the moment this uh, sphere is created because it has a camera attached I'm not sure how the how the order of of cameras works in in unity uh, like using not using sorry if you create a new object automatically that camera gets uh, enabled and that camera is given a higher priority uh, what priority the main camera has I'm not sure how all that works uh, but you can do your research this is just as an example okay so game object sphere again you can name it whatever you want primitive type sphere okay now let's set the position for the sphere just a minute okay now we will add a camera component to our sphere okay uh, before we do this I'm going to place a cube in that corner because our camera is going to be created somewhere over here our uh, sphere with the camera will be created somewhere in that area so just so you can see that it's actually working I'm going to place the cube somewhere here okay this should be fine 
uh, I think our script is done as well okay so when I left click this cube is created with a uh, light attached to it and when I right click a camera is created basically a cube is created with uh, where is it oh sorry uh, a sphere is created with uh, a camera component attached to it you can see the sphere over here it's got this attached let me show you with split screen okay so I left click that cube is created when I right click you can see the sphere sphere being created over here and you can also see a camera component attached to it all right now let's create another sphere but on top of the cube and we will attach a rigid body component to that sphere for this I'm going to use space uh, you can use whatever key you want it's completely up to you you're the one writing the script hmm game object sphere just a minute let me see position okay now let's add our rigid body yep yeah, I think we are done okay uh, I'm going to maximize the screen so you can see much better okay left click the cube is created with the light right click uh, a sphere is created with the camera and when you press space you have the sphere being created over here with the rigid body component okay uh, I think I was uh, I forgot to explain a few things many of you might already know this but for those of you who are confused when I write cube dot transform dot position this means that we are going to set the value for the position property of the transform component and uh, oh sorry we'll set the position prop uh, we'll set the value for the position for the <laughs> sorry we'll set the value for the position property of the transform component of our cube object what else here in this line we are setting the type of light is there anything else I'm missing nope I think that's it so this is how you can uh, create objects using using scripts it's much simpler to just click in the menu and uh, you know you can you can create it in this way as well but in certain cases you might need to 
use the script to do that so it's it's always good to know how to do it you can try various different things uh, experiment with creating different types of objects adding different components seeing the results uh, you can you can do a lot of stuff using scripting like you're not limited you can actually set the value of you, you might be able to set the intensity of uh, your light using using script let's let's try that out before I end the tutorial I haven't rehearsed this part so excuse me if I make some mistakes okay intensity uh, just a minute let me see what the current intensity is so we can play with it the current intensity is 1 we can set this to let's say 0 0.5 well, no. To show you the effect, let's set it to 4. Yeah, you can see the effect over there. It's become incredibly bright. Uh, I think it's spreading more because it's uh, very close to the ground. yeah yeah okay so that's it for this tutorial I hope this tutorial was helpful uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave your comments below I'll see you guys next time